Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. We hope you had a great Thanksgiving with your family and friends. And we are very happy to see that you've included us by stopping by for this week's Explore Tulsa. And everyone's excited about the Christmas movies that are coming out, especially Star Wars The Force Awakens on December 18th. It's been 38 years since the original Star Wars release, which made over $780 million. And they shot that on like an $11 million budget. Compare that to today's new Star Wars, that movie's coming in at $200 million. Man, I'd love to raise that kind of cash to make a movie myself. Hmm, then you might want to start with Kirkpatrick and Kinslow. They're local producers that are doing great things right here in Tulsa. Oh yeah, they're the muscle behind a lot of local documentaries, including one of their latest for the Tulsa Historical Society, Boomtown, An American Journey. Getting stories out there uh, that not everyone sees every day really, I think, is part of what we do. My business partner and I, Andy Kinslow, and I started a couple of three years ago. Primarily, we were doing a number of nonprofit films for local organizations, and we saw that there was a need, and at some point, you realize you probably need to incorporate as a business, which we did starting in late 2013. We uh, realized that there might be something more to do besides just nonprofit uh, short promotional films. So we started research on a couple of documentaries, both of which have premiered here at Circle Cinema this year. I think part of the journey of being a filmmaker and where we live is on the executive producer and producer side. And so basically we oversee the big picture of what goes on. Uh, we deal with a lot of funding. We deal with a lot of uh, ideas that people bring us and then we do what we can to make all of that happen. What started out as a really small project, a small promotional project, turned into a feature-length documentary about pieces of Tulsa history. It's obviously not easy, really, when telling an historical story to pick out, we want to showcase this and not this. We tried to be as chronological as possible, uh, starting at the Council Oak and ultimately ending at current time. And while we couldn't cover everything, we covered a lot. And so we worked with um, you know, the uh, folks at Tulsa Historical to kind of give us a little bit of guidance on, I guess you would say, high points. I think ultimately doing interviews uh, with different people, that kind of guided the narrative a little bit as well. Uh, talking to people like uh, Michael Wallace, uh, Clifton Talbert, Hannibal Johnson, Sharon King Davis, Phil Lakin, and a number of other people that kind of really moved us in a direction that we needed to be going. Uh, as opposed to us sitting down saying, we're going to do this. For the orchestral score for Boomtown, what we did is we worked with uh, Tulsa composer Aaron Fulkerson. Uh, Aaron is fairly well connected in the community, and the music community here, so he was able to work with Signature Symphony, and we were able to put together a project with uh, Signature Symphony at TCC to do the orchestral score for Boomtown. Sounds stunning, absolutely stunning, uh, the work that the Signature Symphony did. Uh, for Boomtown. So whenever the movie premiered and uh, both Andy Kinslow and I, uh, we kind of, we didn't sit, we stood in the back of the theater. Uh, first of all, it premiered to three uh, screens and so the house was packed. There were 400 people. I think that's the maximum number they can pack into the theaters here uh, or so. Uh, Andy Kinslow and I stood in back uh, pretty much holding our breaths. It was a great feeling uh, to see how people reacted uh, to the story. A lot of people said, as they were leaving the theater, uh, they said, man, I really wish there had been more. And uh, that's uh, pretty atypical for a documentary. I think the way that it makes us feel about this whenever we see a movie like Boomtown or a, a documentary like Unlikely Family, which also premiered here at Circle Cinema, once we see that it is out in the world, uh, on some level, if there's a way that we can move the needle as it relates to one or more subjects, I think that's, I think that's a very gratifying feeling. I would say what we have learned is fairly basic. Surround yourself with great filmmakers, and we are fortunate to be able to do that here in Tulsa. There are amazing independent filmmakers in Tulsa and in Oklahoma, all the way from directors to directors of photography, uh, every, every other uh, position you can really think of, including uh, musicians. So there, there's amazing, amazing independent film energy in Tulsa right now, and we could not be more thrilled to be part of that.